That certainly was a class. God, I barely understood anything. Calc 2 was fine, but why oh why did I think taking Calc 3 was a good idea? It'll help me prepare for the future, and I'm stuck here wondering what the hell Surface Integral is. God, homework is going to be hell to try to get through. I wonder what my little Neko is doing. wonder if they come up with... Uh, why are you still in my bed? Did you just never leave? Too comfy. I mean, I do have a lot of pillows and blankets. But like, I thought you would have gone home after I left. Or at the very least be awake. Seriously, aren't you in, like, a super competitive program? You should probably be using this time to study or do homework or... Something. Not just sleeping. Oh, you have the cutest yawns. But we had a lunch date planned, didn't we? If you like, we could go do that if you didn't want to spend time working first. And another yawn. God, you're so adorable when you're sleepy like this. You look so happy curled up underneath all those blankets. But please, it's too late in the day for you to be sleeping. Five more minutes? Hun, you've been asleep since I left, which was about an hour and a half ago. For such a bright thing like you... You should be applying yourself and not just sleeping on your days off. Besides, you can't sleep forever. Okay, maybe you can sleep forever. But not today, alright? Where's the bright-eyed, bushy-tailed Neko from yesterday that was so eager to spend time with me? So, get up and show me that. I know, so mean. How could I wake such a precious little thing like you, all snuggled up and purring away happily? But seriously, you're getting out of bed. Now. Oh no, I'm not coming back to bed with you. If I do that, I will never want to leave. Cuddling with you is a death trap. You'll just curl against my chest and you'll start purring and then I'll have to give you head pats and then we're going to stay like that until one of us gets too hungry and orders food. Please, just get up. There you go, stretch and yawn and all that. Waking up at 11 must be so hard, isn't it? I'm teasing. Anyway, did you come up with some place to eat? Sushi? <laughs> what? Nothing. Just a little on the nose in a certain sense. You know... I'm a little surprised you're actually able to come up with a place to eat. I know I asked you to, but I figure you'll still be umming and aahing about by the time we got together. I know, I know. I should be putting more faith in you. Just... I don't know. I'm still thinking you as a shy kitten hidden in the corner and not the bold Neko leading the way. Just wait until the adrenaline wears off. Oh, you don't have to be nervous. This is supposed to be relaxed and fun, not some test. Come on, what happened to... I'm not that shy. That was a lie. Wait, I'm confused. You didn't want to disappoint me? In what way? Why don't you want to tell me? <sighs> now you're just being difficult. Hun, stop for a second. 
You don't have to be secretive with me, you know. I found you at the edge of the party. I know that you're at least a little bit shy, a little quiet and reserved, and that's okay. You don't have to be super extroverted all the time, or even any of the time. Just, I want to understand who you are. Sweetheart, I told you. I find you adorable, precious, and a million other things. No matter how outgoing you are, it doesn't really matter to me. When I asked you to work on being more confident, I didn't say that your personality was wrong or that I didn't like it or whatever. I just... I just wanted you to feel more comfortable in your own skin. For your own sake. What? No, I'm not asking you to change your personality for me. It was always just... Me wanting you to be comfortable and confident in your own way. Have people tried to change that in you before? Oh no, hon. That's not what I'm trying to do at all. No matter how you feel, it's valid, okay? If you're feeling bold, that's great. If you'd rather stay back for a little bit, that's okay too. I just... I remember when I was the scared quiet one who hung around the edges of parties praying for someone to talk to me. Most of the time, I just ended up leaving because the noise bothered me. But slowly, I got more used to being around people and found that I enjoy people's company. If that ends up happening to you, that's great. If not, well, that's not a bad thing either. It's just who you are. You don't have to pretend to be something for me. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry that I was coming off that way. Will you forgive me? Yeah, I'll pay for lunch today.